Yo, 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 guys, it's Steph and Joe with Tic Tac Go, and we are back for another episode, episode number five to be exact, for our Antiques Roadshow edition. Today we go to Taylor Trade Town Center, aka Taylor Town in Taylor, Michigan. Lots of cool collectibles, DVDs, books, antiques, some great stuff. All right, guys, so Taylor Town Center is unique in the fact that it is a huge indoor flea market, but it also does sometimes carry different types of specialty events. Now, today's event that we went into was a sports card and sports memorabilia show. So this was right up Joe's alley as he's an avid sports collector. But also besides this, there's tons of other vendors that carry different antiques. Um, like Joe said, too, a lot of different little knickknacks for whatever your hobby may be. So we're going to go ahead and look at our top five items. So being a sports buff and living in Hockey Town, USA, a.k.a. Detroit and the Detroit Red Wings, this is a really, really cool item that we found called um, the production line. So it's a production line signed hockey puck signed by Hall of Famers Gordie Howe, Ted Lindsay, and Sid Abel. The uh, production line was infamous in Detroit just for all their hockey lore and all the great accomplishments that they had winning a couple of Stanley Cups in that era for the Detroit Red Wings um, and for 275 we're going to compare and see was this a deal or no deal so you can see here online 299.99 plus shipping a couple of other comps out here as well 199.95 eight dollar shipping and another one here three hundred dollars Gordie Howe, Ted Lindsay, Sid Abel, all signed, plus $15 shipping. So for $275, I'm actually going to say yes, this is a deal. This is a reputable dealer that I've dealt with at these card shows at Taylor Town Center. He's been around in the business for a long time. The autographs are legit. They look awesome. Great bargain price. This is a steal of a deal, guys. Hockey legends all around. All right, next up we have a couple of different figurines that are part of a series and is based off of Emmett Kelly Sr., who is a clown that you see pictured here, but also he had a son, Emmett Kelly Jr. So Emmett Kelly Jr., this is um, a lot of the figurines that it took, I think, from inspiration from his father and son. And you can see um, just a lot of detail here. Here, this particular vendor, they had all the different boxes, kept everything intact, so everything was in really good condition. And if you like or collect these type of things, some of them you can see are limited edition, celebrating 35 years of clowning around. Uh, let's go look and see if it's a deal or no deal. So since the vendor had so many, I wanted to see kind of what was out there. So you can see this one here in particular is $150 as well as this one here, but this one is also smaller where a lot of the other ones were bigger. Then here we went into this one, it's $285. And again, these are all different figurines, but this vendor had so many, so I kind of wanted to see what the going rate was. Here, $119 in new box. This one right here, $125. And again, you are gonna pay shipping. And this one I wanted to just show, this vendor had a ton of different new boxes for $450, but Considering the amount of those right there, I think that's a great deal. Now, a lot of his were listed for $175 each, which I'd say overall, this is a great deal. Um, there's not a whole lot of availability out there, and maybe this is the one that you're missing. So, overall, great steal of a deal. All right, and next up, we have a pearlescent bird. This is from Leo Ward. You may have seen, you know, comparable birds like this, the blue birds, the red birds. This one's pretty unique. It comes with a uh, certification, it looks like here, or a letter, kind of explaining a little bit about what it's about. So let's find out if it was a deal or not a deal. And we couldn't find in it the exact type of bird, but here's a rare vintage Leo Ward carnival glass bird, signed and dated, $39.99. Another vintage glass bird that's been signed for $69. A 
Another option as well here, a 1993 Bluebird Art Glass, $14. And lastly, another one, signed Leo Ward, 1993, two Bluebirds of Happiness, $24.99. So this one was a deal, given the price, $20. And being that it is a signed collectible, we thought this was a great addition to any antique lover's collection. guys and continuing with the circus clown theme today so we found another beast here and instead of sad clowns we got some happy clowns and this one right here is unique in the fact that it's a print or picture on a mirror instead of actually a canvas or something like that and it's by Robert Owen which I did some research and he does have a lot of different pictures out there kind of all in the circus clown theme but we wanted to do a little bit more research and let's see what we find all right, so I did find another one that was on that mirror picture, and this one was $104 and $33 delivery. This one here was on a canvas and is $102, so not on that mirror background, but still nonetheless, um, same picture. The one at the store here was for $100, and I say overall that is a good deal, especially with it being unique and not that much um, active listings online that I could find. All right, so this next piece is pretty unique, and it's called the Sea Witch. We could not find an exact comparable ship in a bottle type of item like this, but it's a huge piece, great display piece as well, especially if you're into nautical stuff um, or you know being on the sea. Kind of a cool collector's item here, and kind of taking a look at some comparable comps, deal or no deal. Like I said, we couldn't find the exact item. This one much, much, much smaller. Black Pearl Ship in a Bottle, $9.99. Beachcombers Pirate Ship in a Bottle here, again, not quite the same size, $43.83. This one is a really uh, a big piece, too. This one looked pretty cool, $444.95. This one that we found as well, a lot smaller, again, not the same, $124.95. For $50, bucks, guys, this was a huge piece. Displays really nicely. We say it's a deal. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for episode number five. Please let us know what you think. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please tune in to future episodes in the near future where we're going to go and head south and go into Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee. So have a good one. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>